Republican gubernatorial candidate Bill Waller pitches his infrastructure plan in Monroe County. Waller made a stop at the APAC plant in Hamilton to present a roadmap for his 10-year plan to improve the state's highways and bridges. Waller says even with the new state lottery tax, there still won't be enough funding to fix county roads or bridges throughout the state. We've got a real uh, crisis in Mississippi, and, and I'm, I'm trying to do everything I can to promote roads. Mississippi is the last state in the southeast not to address the road problems we have. Uh, 1987 was our last big highway program. That was 32 years ago. Uh, so we, we've got to, what was done in the special session with the lottery. Uh, it will not even repair the 400 bridges that we've got uh, needing repair and replacing right now. So that's no money to repair roads. That's certainly no money for new coverage or new, or new roads that we need in, in a variety of places around the state. Waller also hopes to see the money from the state lottery tax used in the general fund or possibly used in education to help bring more teachers to Mississippi. The current occupant of the governor's mansion says next week's second round of voting was just what he expected. Governor Phil Bryant says with three good candidates, it's hard to avoid a runoff. But when he comes to when it comes to next Tuesday's election, he feels confident on the outcome. The Republican Party is going to come together. I know Bill Waller and Justice Waller and, and Robert Foster are all going to support uh, Tate Reeves in this victory. I do believe. I think they've run a very good race. Uh, I like both of those gentlemen. We differ on some policy. Uh, they are in favor of expanding Medicaid. I am not. They're in favor of a gasoline tax. I am not. Neither is Lieutenant Governor Reeves. Uh, so there is a clear difference between the candidates in the Republican primary, and I hope everyone will get out again uh, and vote for their respective candidates. And again, the runoff is next Tuesday, the 27th.